welcome to part two of my beginner's guides to paints and accessories. Um, today I'll be talking about uh, the different items I use for preparing my models. I shall talk a little bit about um, how to uh, take care of your brushes and um, everything else that I use. I'm going to start by showing you the um, miniature holder by Citadel. I did explain this in another video but um, I wanted to show it again and show you other ways you can hold your miniatures uh, for a, a cheaper price. But um, this um, cost me five pounds. It's from uh, Games Workshop and it's very good, very good. Um, it holds square miniatures and um, holds your round based miniatures. Um, it's on a spring so you just put your miniature into the holder and it's sturdy and it's got a nice little grip to it and um, it's very very good um, I recommend getting one of these for all your uh, small miniature painting needs as it does the job very well um, now if you're on a budget like I used to be all the time um, I use one of these and uh, this is one of my old uh, Games Workshop paints and as you can see I've got some blue tack stuck on the top and all you do is you stick your mini on and voila you have yourself a perfect miniature holder and it costs me the pack of uh, blue tack that's all so you don't have to spend a fortune and there are ways around it um, but I do recommend getting the Games Workshop miniature holder, it's very good. For preparing your metal or plastic miniatures you need to take the flashing off. Um, the flashing is from the mould process and you normally get uh, little lines around the miniature, little bits of metal coming off. Um, now for getting rid of all these, um, we have small little files you can get from Army Painter or you can get from Games Workshop and you can file off the you can file off the little lines around the miniature um, and you also get little plugs of flashing as well which you can just snip off with some snips um, you can buy any snips for the job you can get specialized ones like from Games Workshop uh, but you can go to your local hardware store and get these little snips um, as well plus you can get the little files from the local hardware store if you if you take a little look look around now um, it's very important uh, to get rid of all the mold lines because once you've painted your miniature um, you'll find that the mold lines will stand out a mile and it looks awful. But um, using the file on your plastic, on your sorry, on your metal miniatures uh, works a treat. Um, for plastic, uh, especially the bones, the metal files, they're no good. All it does is just moves the plastic around. So you need um, uh, an exo knife like this one, nice sharp blade, and this is these these little knives are very very sharp, so be careful. But they are also very good for removing the plastic flashing on bones miniatures and any plastic miniatures from Mantic Games or Games Workshop. So you'll need a modelling knife um, for that. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about brush care and what I use to look after my brushes. Jam jars, <laughs> that's all I can say. I use lots and lots of jam jars. I don't buy the fancy pots, um, I use old jam jars. And perfect for putting your water in, so for your brushes you'll need cold water. You don't use warm water, um, the cold water is much better to remove the paint. Now, here is uh, another jam jar with the water in and I just wanted to show you um, what, how you wash your brush. Now, here is uh, my army painter brush. Here we have the stem. Now, when you um, go like this in the brush, when you take the paint off, try to not go over the line there because eventually uh, water will get down under the metal and what happens then is this piece will fall away and rot underneath because it's only wood. 
so that's very important um, also when you um, have your brushes and you dry them use a tissue and just twirl like this over the tissue so it spins um, for storing your brushes it's very important you keep them so the bristles aren't touching the floor so a lot a lot of people say to keep them flat I just put them in another jam jar like so so they're pointing upwards and then you know you're not going to get your bristles all damaged um, another thing you should never do is leave your paint brush in a pot this way down because it will make all the bristles bend so that's a no-no one of the biggest things and the biggest problem for paint brushes is uh, getting paint into the stem and that splits the end because if you see we're after a nice fine tip now after painting um, if you don't wash off the paint proper and it goes further down the bristles it'll end up splitting and you won't have that lovely point on the end so when you're painting you only use the end of the brush like so so that's how much that's how you want the paint you want it on the tip of your brush no further up now it does take a lot of practice even now <coughs> I still mess up my brushes but that in theory is how you should do this all the time and so you just paint in with the tip of your brush and no further no further up the, the brush bristles if the paint goes up to the top of the bristles it will eventually split the bristles so it's very important and this way your brush will last a lot longer and again you just in the cold water give it a good twirl you don't point it down or squish it at the bottom that's not going to get the paint off so you're just washing it around plus if you keep on poking your brush at the bottom and squishing it around you're going to damage the end of the brush so you have to be very careful with these brushes they're very delicate and um, they're, they're, not, they're not cheap, you don't want to keep on replacing them. Um, with a tissue, just twist. Twist the paint. And then just store into your jam jar. And it's nice and clean, and it will last you a nice long time. So, look after your brushes, and they will look after you. <laughs>